Welcome back to High Stakes. Elevate your betting game by hitting that subscribe button and never miss out on our daily content. Want exclusive access to premium betting picks? Join our Patreon. Links waiting for you in the comment section below. Stay ahead of the game with high stakes. Arizona Cardinals vs. San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers are absolutely scorching this season, lighting up scoreboards with an average of 25.8 points per game while suffocating their opponents to a mere 20.5. This is a team that's built to dominate from all angles, and the numbers back it up. San Francisco ranks second in the entire NFL with a staggering 413 total yards per game, and on the flip side, they're holding opposing offenses to just 295.3 yards, ranking ninth in the league. Their explosive 6.3 yards per play ranks them third, and they top the charts in total offensive efficiency an elite 57.71%. What does that mean for Arizona? It means they're walking into a buzzsaw of talent and momentum. And here's the kicker. The 49ers are getting healthier by the week, making them even more of a juggernaut in the NFC West. It's hard to see how a battered Cardinals team can hang in there. On the other side of the ball, the struggling Cardinals. Arizona is floundering. They're putting up just 24 points per game, ranking 13th in the NFL. But their defense is a disaster, giving up 26.5 points per game. That's 29th in the league, folks, meaning their defensive woes are glaring. While they've managed a respectable fifth place in rushing yards at 153.3 per game, that one-dimensional offense isn't going to cut it against San Francisco's elite defense. Their passing attack, virtually non-existent, ranking a woeful 25th with a meager 179.8 yards per game. With a 2-5 ATS record in divisional matchups since 2023, the Cardinals aren't just losing, they're failing to cover, making them an unreliable bet week after week. After back-to-back -back ATS failures against the Lions and Commanders, putting your faith in Arizona feels like trying to win the lottery. Highly unlikely. Pick. 49ers minus 7 points. Over or under. Go all in on the over. Here's where it gets even better for betters. The 49ers have been exceeding expectations all season long with three of their four games blasting past the posted totals, including both of their home games. In divisional matchups since 2023, they're an incredible six to one for games going over the total. Their last two games both hit the over mark. And don't forget about Arizona's defensive struggles, which have turned most of their games into shootouts. Three of their four games this season have gone over the total, including their lone road game. Since 2023, Four of their last seven divisional matchups have gone over, and their most recent game followed that same pattern. With San Francisco firing on all cylinders and Arizona's defensive woes continuing to rear their ugly head, this NFC West showdown has all the ingredients for a high-scoring thriller. Expect plenty of points on the board. Pick over 49.5 points. Green Bay Packers versus Los Angeles Rams in a matchup filled with intrigue the Rams are facing a mounting crisis as injuries continue to pile up for Matthew Stafford and his squad. Last week's lackluster performance against the Chicago Bears showcased the depth of their struggles. Stafford is valiantly trying to distribute the ball to Tutu Atwell and Jordan Winnington, but let's face it, he's missing his dynamic duo in Cooper Cup and Pukan Akua, both sidelined for this critical clash against the Green Bay Packers. With these key players out, the Rams find themselves in a precarious position. Meanwhile, on the other side of the field, expect Jordan Love and Josh Jacobs to ignite the Packers' offense early and often. The Rams' defensive stats paint a grim picture. They sit at the bottom of the league in yards per pass and yards per play allowed, while also ranking 30th in third down conversions allowed. This troubling trifecta spells disaster, especially with Love and the high-octane Packers storming into the dome. Take Green Bay. Prediction. Green Bay Packers minus 3.5 points. Despite the injuries hampering the Rams' receiving core, they've shown flashes of efficiency in moving the ball. Their performance against the Bears was riddled with red zone carelessness, yet they still managed to gain yardage. Look for them to keep pace with the Packers, at least for a while, before the floodgates open in the second half. And here's where it gets even more enticing. The total has soared over in six of Green Bay's last eight games against NFC opponents. 
The Packers have consistently averaged over 28 points in their last 10 matchups with the Rams, further highlighting their scoring prowess. With both offenses poised to exploit the weaknesses on the other side, expect an electrifying contest that promises plenty of action and points. Take the over. Prediction, over 48.5 points. New York Giants vs. Seattle Seahawks. Jared Goff put on a dazzling display on Monday night, executing a masterclass performance that saw him complete all 18 of his passes, setting an NFL record for consecutive completions without an incompletion. The Detroit Lions roared past the Seattle Seahawks with a commanding 42-29 victory, showcasing an offense that fired on all cylinders. Despite a valiant effort from Geno Smith, who threw for a staggering 395 yards and saw Kenneth Walker rush for a career-high three touchdowns, Seattle's offense simply couldn't keep pace. However, it was Smith's untimely mistakes that marred an otherwise impressive night. A costly fumble by DK Metcalf deep in Detroit territory in the first quarter proved disastrous, while a last-minute interception in the end zone sealed the Seahawks' first loss of the season. Seattle head coach Mike McDonald made bold choices, opting to go for it on fourth down during critical moments, yet luck was not on their side. A pass interference call against Tyler Lockett wiped out a pivotal fourth down conversion, and later, Smith's four straight incompletions on a fourth and goal left fans stunned. Despite the setbacks, the Seahawks rallied with grit, particularly when Smith connected with rookie tight end A.J. Barner for a third quarter touchdown. Yet their depleted defense, missing five starters, was no match for Detroit's relentless and balanced defensive attack. Prediction, Seattle Seahawks minus 6.5 points. Looking ahead to their week five showdown against the New York Giants, Seattle is on the brink of a potential resurgence. The prospect of welcoming back several key defensive starters shines a glimmer of hope. Mike McDonald announced that defensive lineman Leonard Williams ribs, along with outside linebackers Boy Maif, Nee, and Yuchenan Wosu, Nee, are set to participate in Wednesday's walkthrough session. This development is crucial for a Seahawks defense grappling with injuries, particularly after Williams and May face setbacks during the Week 3 victory over the Miami Dolphins. However, the injury report remains a mixed bag. First-round rookie Byron Murphy, too, is nursing a hamstring injury that has kept him out of practice, and the Seahawks are navigating a grueling stretch of three games in 11 days from Weeks 4 to 6. Compounding the issues, starting safety Julian Love exited the loss to the Lions with a quad contusion. While McDonald expressed optimism about Love's status, the uncertainty surrounding his availability adds another layer of complexity to a defense that has struggled to stay healthy early in season. Inside linebacker Jerome Baker also remains sidelined with a hamstring injury, further testing Seattle's defensive depth. Prediction, under 43.5 points. Dallas Cowboys vs. Pittsburgh Steelers. Justin Fields came oh so close to engineering a thrilling comeback in last week's nail-biter against the Colts, narrowly falling 27-24. His dynamic play, both through the air and on the ground, demonstrated his growing prowess as a quarterback. However, the spotlight in Pittsburgh seems to be shifting toward Russell Wilson, with coach Mike Tomlin confirming that Wilson Calf will return to team drills this week. While Wilson won't be starting against the Cowboys, the clock is ticking for Fields to seize the moment and solidify his role. This matchup presents an excellent opportunity for the young quarterback to shine against a Dallas defense that will be without two of its key players, Demarcus Lawrence and Micah Parsons. With Dallas allowing a staggering 145 yards per game on the ground, ranking 27th in the NFL, this could be a perfect storm for Najee Harris and the Steelers' ground game to exploit. Take the Steelers minus two points. Pittsburgh has been somewhat pedestrian on offense through the first four weeks, hovering around the middle of the pack in both yardage and points per game. However, they found their rhythm in the second half against the Colts, with Fields showing flashes of brilliance as he took command of the offense. With Dallas missing crucial pieces, the Steelers should be able to generate chunk plays against a vulnerable Cowboys defense. On the other side of the ball, Dallas has struggled mildly with its ground game, currently dead last in rushing. This will likely force them into a heavy passing approach, which plays right into Pittsburgh's strength. Its rush defense ranked third in the league. 
Yet, the Steelers' secondary showed vulnerabilities last week, as Joe Flacco demonstrated that you can throw on them. This means expect plenty of clock stoppages and passing plays, setting the stage for a high-scoring affair that pushes the total well beyond the projected number. Take the over 44.5 points.